Hello guys, welcome to Code Champ. My name is Nikita and in this video we are going to see how to set up Visual Studio environment for coding in Vulkan. So what is Vulkan? Vulkan is a graphics API which is used by many graphics developers or graphics engineers to program 2D, 3D animations or to render objects on the screen, uh, developing some games. Uh, many multiple games are developed in graphics APIs and Vulkan is one of them. Game engines are also developed using graphics API. So Vulkan, Metal, DirectX, OpenGL, all these are graphics API. So First of all, whenever you need some API or technology you are going to use for coding, you require software development kit. First, you will need to download Vulkan SDK. For that, you go to Lunar-G website and click on download Vulkan SDK. It will take you to the another tab where you need to click on windows windows icon download developer tools for windows we are going to set up this on windows so click on windows here you need to click vulkan sdk installer.exe which is 125 mb so this is sdk installer i have already downloaded it if you see here you need to double click on it and simply do next next and install it Kindly note the installation folder because this folder we will require to add configurations for header files or uh, libraries in the Visual Studio. Second is GLFW. What is GLFW? Now graphics API will provide us the API function APIs which will be useful in drawing uh, objects on the screen. So where we will draw these objects on a window. To create window, manage events related to window, that is user interaction with the window. These APIs, all these things are handled by GLFW, which is graphics library framework. We need to download Windows pre-compiled binaries for our project. So this is 64-bit Windows binaries you need to download. I have already downloaded, you can see this folder, GLFW. Uh, 338 is the version and win64 third is glm glm is a open gel mathematics uh, library which you will require for the mathematics you will be using so to draw any graphics uh, related stuff so you need some mathematical operations to be used inside your code for that you will require this glm so simply download it from your sourceforge.net I've already downloaded, you can see it here. Now after installing Vulkan SDK, you will find it uh, installed in the mostly in C drive Vulkan SDK, here you can see that. I have kept GLM and GLFW inside documents, Visual Studio 2017 libraries folder I have created, here I am keeping this both okay so we are going to use visual studio 2017 you can use any latest one but to avoid any unknown errors if you follow the same visual studio 2017 it will be helpful to you proceed smoothly so let us create visual studio project for vulcan go to file new project under Visual C++, select Windows Desktop and Windows Desktop Wizard. Here I will name, name my project. So that is Vulkan app, my first Vulkan app. So click on OK. Application type you can select any, but if you select console application, it will be helpful in de uh, printing debug messages. So I'll keep console application and empty project. I don't want any boilerplate code here. I will be writing the code itself. So why, what code I'm going to write? So the window which I was speaking about, so the first window which we require to draw anything, that window code we are going to do now. It is a simple uh, few, few, few steps we need to follow. So debug release and year 64 will keep. Let us add the configurations here. Uh, then we will start writing code because it will be helpful to see the like use the intelligence of Visual Studio and the APIs will be more readable. 
click on Vulkan app right, uh, right click properties and uh, we are going to add all configurations because if you switch from debug to release the configurations should still be there platform is x64 now here we see the linking options but uh, the header file we also need to add include directories but cc++ option is not there so first we will add one source file new item c++ file and the name of file is main.cpp add simply we are adding this main.cpp which is empty now go right click on the project and here now you can see the header file so go to cc++ general additional include directories here we will be adding first vulkan header files uh, go to this pc and c drive vulkan sdk include folder that's it for second is our glfw it is like located here documents visual studio libraries glfw and include so this is the include folder for that next glm so okay there is some problem with my visual studio I'll close it and I'll add it again. Okay, so from documents, Visual Studio, Libraries, GLFW, GLFW, include, select folder. Next is Vulkan. I'll simply first add the GLM as well. Go to GLM folder. Till here, you need to give the path and now the Vulkan folder I will add so go to this PC here Vulkan SDK and include that's it it's done click on OK and apply go to linker inside general you need to add additional library directories so go here simply the libraries uh, first we will add for glfw glm we are uh, we, we are directly using one header file which we, which will provide everything the mathematical operations which we require okay so for glfw for visual studio 2017 will require vc 2015 so you need to take care of this second is vulkan sdk so let us go to this vulkan sdk and lib folder that's it so this libraries are included click on apply go to input because we need to add here the library file names also so vulkan hyphen one is the vulkan library and glfw3 dot lib okay okay again apply and okay so now we can start writing our code which is very simple this time we are just creating one window so let us include glfw okay and if we require any c++ stuff yeah we require so are your stream int main return zero if everything succeeds first things first we need to initialize glfw then we can create window so glfw create window is a function which we need to create window so you can see now this is the intelligence because we have already added all the uh, headers and libraries so we can see the function here width i am going to keep 800 and height is 600 title of my window will be vulcan app monitor and share these two parameters i'm not going to use currently so simply i'm going to keep them null now this function returns one pointer which is the window handle so i want to store it because i'll require i'll need this 
बिकॉज आई विल रिक्वायर दिस सो या जी एल एफ डब्ल्यू विंडो पॉइंट नेक्स्ट नाउ एनी विंडो दिस विजुअल स्टूडियो इज ऑल्सो वन विंडो सो यू कैन सी दर आर मल्टीपल ऑप्शन यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द क्लोज बटन एंड द यूजर इज कंटिन्यूसली इंटरैक्टिंग विद दिस विजुअल स्टूडियो सो दिस कंटिन्यूस इंटरैक्शन इज पॉसिबल ड्यू टू द मैसेज लूप कंटिन्यूसली एनी विंडो इज टेकिंग इवेंट्स फ्रॉम द यूजर सो दैट फॉर आवर विंडो ऑल्सो यू नीड टू कंटिन्यूसली रन दिस लूप विच इज कॉल्ड एज मैसेज लूप so till when this message loop should work till our window doesn't close so my window so that is my window handle i am giving and what inside this loop we are going to do keep pulling the events user user is still interacting when this message loop is executing we just want to show window that's why we we are stopping here and we can destroy our window here so for destroying window which window you want to destroy so give the handle and that's it glfw you can terminate yeah that's it so this is a cool simple code and let us run this code and see what is the output uh yeah that will be one window and it it should be named with the vulkan app the title of the window and let's see this is the console yeah so here you can see vulkan app you can see as the title of the window and the height is uh, height and width are like 800 by 600 so that's it our window is on the screen so we are uh, our vulkan setup is done in visual studio so from the next video we can start vulkan coding so thank you guys for watching this video enjoy coding keep coding